Alright, so the rest of these are very simple blocks, except for this one and this one. Oh, and the stairway. The door's not complete yet, but it'll make a good stand-in. So this one... These four are just simple blocks. Highlight them, create UVs, automatic mapping, and then when I click on one at a time, they're just going to be all on the UV 0 to 1. Okay, follow the rules. Move, move. And a lot of times I can just click over the entire structure and then hold control and right click and it'll deselect over here. That's a very fast way to uh, get the shells together without going in and zooming in every time. Okay, now what's this one? This one is the door. Okay, so I'll probably be adding a little bit more detail to it, but for right now, that works out. This thing's a little weird. So edge, two edge loop, takes care of that whole one. Edge, two edge loop, takes care of that one. I'm pretty sure that there's some down here that need to be kind of fixed up, removed. These, I'm not sure where they go. Okay, it looks like this one and this one. Hmm. Okay, those two go together. Those three go together. And that's a nice tight on a... <laughs> there we go. That The other side's not too bad. I see what I have to do now, though. I have to move and sew it, then rip these edges apart. Or just this one, at least. And then find a new home for this one. Right there's fine. Or that there's better. Alright. Size it up. Zero to one. Ship it over. Uh, this one's almost all the way done for me. Let's see what happens there. Well, in this case, I just move and sew it. Move and sew it. And then find the two ends. Good. Get that one out of here. Um, I see one thing that I, I liked about this one is I need to have it go the other way. There we go. Secondary monitor. Whew, a lot of UVs. Okay, all put together for me just about. I'm going to try this. I 
That works out good. And this works out good. Now is that a flat board? Yep. We're resizing. And kick it off to the side. Make sure you save every once in a while. Oh, if you're watching this, it must be very boring. So you know you can work on your own thing. If, if you get it by now. If not, stick around, watch some more amazing, amazing UV juggling acts. This one is not right, so create UVs, automatic mapping again, just to make sure it's right. Okay, move those down. Edge, edge. That looks good. When you uniformly scale them, make sure you scale them into this from the center. Can I highlight out all these edges on the inside? Just hit move and sew, if it, and then unhighlight one of the edges so it will not bond to itself. There we go. Oh, what do we got left? This stupid board. Well, this is the bricks. So they're going to have to match that angle. Well, no, it doesn't have to match that angle at all. That's right. In fact, it would hurt it not to have that angle. But uh, it would be easy to texturize it without it. So I'm kind of torn on it. Do, do, do there's so I don't want any ones that have to do with these edges. And I'm just looking for something. I'll aim for these two. Oh, and this one's connected, so I would have to uncheck this one and then recheck this one. There we go. That one can go there. Now I have this big hot mess. I'll probably end up coming back to this one. And now, wait a minute. Take this edge, cut it. Take this edge and cut it. To shell this one and put it down here. To shell this one and rotate it. After cutting it. There, now they're all on um, the same path. 
They're all going the same direction. Okay, next. Wow, getting kind of burned out. Can't lie. Uh, create automatic mapping, window, UV texture editor. Alright, this one's a little trickier, so moving so. UV to shell, W, move it. So I'm, I'm continuing to do this over and over again until I run. And right there is what I want because that matches about the same size there. Okay, which means that these two can go somewhere else. Well, what the heck. Okay, just finding its home. There we go. Moving so. Tipping these right side up. Putting that one there. Putting this one here. And then that's good for the steps. And last but not least, this little guy, he's easy. Just treat him just like a window. Okay, just looking for natural bonds here. Can't go that way. Can go this way though. Can't go that way. Can't go this way. Good. Moving so. Then I just look for these natural fits. Nope, nope, nope. You can't add any of these in because they will overlap like mad. So there's my glass block. So ends UVs. Three videos, about 14 minutes each. Good luck with that. So next, we texturize. So next video.